Hello friends, welcome to environmental science. In unit 3 under environmental pollution, in this video we are going to see the definition, cause, effects and control measures of water pollution. Water is the essential element that makes life on the earth possible. Without water, there would be no life on the earth. Uh, but uh, we usually take water for granted. About 97% of the total water available on the earth is found only in the oceans and the two is salty, too salty for drinking or uh, the purpose of irrigation. The remaining 3% is the fresh water. Only the 3% of the fresh water is available for the domestic purpose of human being. As fresh water becomes more scarce, uh, the access to water resources will be a major factor in determining the economic growth of several countries around the world. The definition of water pollution. When the quality or composition of water changes directly or indirectly as a result of the activities of human being and becomes unfit for any purpose and this is known as the water pollution. The causes of water pollution. There are several classes of uh, common water pollutants. The first one uh, is the disease causing agents uh, called pathogens, which include the bacteria, uh, viruses, protozoa, and the parasitic worms. Um, and these enter into the water uh, from uh, domestic sewage and untreated human and animal wastes. The human wastes contain concentrated populations of coliform bacteria, such as the Escherichia coli and the Streptococcus fecalis. And these bacteria normally grow in the large intestine of humans where they are responsible for the food digestion and for the production of vitamin K. So these bacteria are not harmful in low numbers. But when the amount of um, these bacteria increases, uh, increases they will uh, cause the gastrointestinal diseases to human beings. Next one is the second class of uh, water pollutants are called the oxygen depleting wastes. So these are the organic wastes that can be decomposed by the aerobic bacteria. The aerobic, aerobic bacteria uh, will require oxygen. Uh, then the large populations of bacteria use up the oxygen present in the water or water bodies to decompose these wastes. When so, hence by the process, the oxygen level of oxygen goes down. So, this process uh, automatically degrades the quality of water. And the amount of oxygen required to break down a certain amount of organic matter is called as the biological oxygen demand, that is BOD. The amount of oxygen required to break down a certain amount of organic matter is called as the biological oxygen demand. So, the amount of um, BOD in the water is an indicator of the level of pollution. So hence it is uh, uh, understood that um, there should be enough amount of uh, oxygen in every water body for the survival of uh, the organisms. Uh, now um, the lack of oxygen causes uh, fish and other forms of oxygen dependent aquatic life to die. So uh, without oxygen, uh, there is no possibility of uh, life on the water and at this stage uh, the anaerobic bacteria which do not require oxygen begin to break down the waste. So here the anaerobic respiration produces chemicals that have a foul odor and an unpleasant taste that is um, very much harmful to the human health. Now the third class of uh, pollutants um, are the inorganic plant nutrients. They are the nutrients. Um, these are water soluble uh, nitrates and phosphates that cause uh, excessive growth of algae and other aquatic plants. So the excessive growth of algae and aquatic plants is called eutrophication. Uh, the chemicals uh, in fertilizers and pesticides pollute the soil and water. While the excess fertilizers cause eutrophication, the pesticides cause bioaccumulation and biomagnification. The pesticides which enter into the water bodies are introduced into the 
aquatic food chain once they are introduced into that aquatic food chain then they are absorbed by the phytoplanktons and the aquatic plants phytoplanktons are the um, floating micro organisms so the um, these phytoplanktons and aquatic plants are eaten by the herbivorous fish and the herbivorous fish are eaten by the carnivorous fish and the carnivorous fish are eaten by the water birds so in the this is the food chain and uh, each um, at the each link in the above food chain these chemicals which do not pass out they do not get out of the body but they are accumulated getting accumulated and increasingly concentrated resulting in the biomagnification biomagnification of the harmful substances uh, here for example uh, one of the uh, effects of accumulation of high levels of uh, pesticides such as the DDT is that the um, birds affected by the uh, DDT pesticide uh, lay eggs with shells that are very much thinner than the normal. So these birds lay eggs uh, whose eggs are uh, having very thinner shells. So due to the, uh, the very thinness of the egg shell, uh, it leads to the premature breaking of the eggs. So the eggs um, are breaking down um, in a very early stage and leading to the death of the chicks inside the egg. So uh, here uh, birds of prey such as the hawks, uh, eagles and other fish eating birds are affected by such pollution uh, leading to the extinction of those species. Then on the fourth class of water pollutants are the water soluble inorganic chemicals which are the acids, salts and the compounds of toxic metals such as the mercury and lead. High levels of these chemicals can make the water unfit to drink and they are harmful to fish and other aquatic life. And they reduce the crop yields and also they accelerate the corrosion of equipments that use this kind of water. Organic chemicals. The other cause of water pollution is a variety of organic chemicals which include the oil and gasoline, plastics, pesticides, cleaning solvents, detergents and many other chemicals. So these are harmful to aquatic life and human health. Next, um, the sediment of uh, suspended matter is another class of uh, water pollutants. So these are the insoluble uh, particles of soil and other uh, solids that become suspended in water. So uh, hence um, they interfere with the penetration of sunlight. So when the, when the sunlight is unable to penetrate into the water, it automatically reduces the photosynthetic activity of aquatic plants. Now, uh, some other uh, causes of uh, water pollution. Here, the water soluble radioactive isotopes pass through the food chains and food webs can cause the birth defects, cancer, and also the genetic damage. And then, the hot water. The hot water let out by the power plants and the industries that use large volumes of uh, water to cool the hot plant result in the uh, rise in temperature of the local water bodies. So these harm water decreases the solubility of oxygen and hence it affects the aquatic organisms. And the next one is the oil. Oil is washed into the um, surface water from the roads and the parking lots which also pollutes the ground water and then the accidental oil spills. The accidental oil uh, spills from and the large transport tankers uh, traveling uh, at the sea have been causing uh, significant environmental damage. Next one is the groundwater um, pollution, which is caused by the untreated or poorly treated waste water and uh, garbage. And um, the industrial waste storage located above or near the aquifers and the agricultural practices such as the application of large amounts of uh, fertilizers and uh, pesticides and animal feeding operations etc in the rural sector then the leakage from underground storage tanks 
containing the gasoline and other hazardous uh, substances and leakage from the landfills and poorly uh, designed septic tanks and uh, mining wastes. Here is the state of uh, India's rivers. India has always had a tradition of uh, worshipping rivers. So most of uh, the rivers in India are named after the gods, goddesses or uh, saints. And uh, however, uh, a large majority of the Indian population, uh, they do not think twice uh, before polluting a river. Here, the urbanization, industrialization, excess, of, excess withdrawal of uh, water and then agricultural runoff, improper agricultural practices and various religious and social practices. So all these uh, contribute to the river pollution in India. Now the effect of um, water pollutants. A compounds of uh, mercury, arsenic and lead are poisonous and chemically harmful. A mercury when dissolved in water is absorbed by aquatic plants and then it enters into the food chain. Then lead. Lead impairs metabolism and brings about the congenital deformities and anemia, etc. Then cadmium. Cadmium damages uh, the kidneys and the liver. And the presence of dyes and compounds in the discharged water changes the color and uh, color of the water and uh, gives uh, water um, to the water. And soap, uh, detergents, and alkalis uh, result in the uh, formation of foam in the water. The industrial effluents containing iron, uh, free chlorine, phenol, manganese, oils, hydrocarbons, ammonia, uh, algae and other uh, microorganisms, uh, they impair the taste and odors of water, thereby reducing the quality of water. Then the nitrates and phosphates dissolved in the water accelerate the growth of microorganisms, which consume much of the dissolved oxygen. So hence, uh, thereby causing death of fish and uh, aquatic life, which is uh, known as the eutrophication and then the biomagnification. So biomagnification is the increase of uh, toxic materials at each uh, tropic level of your food chain. Now the control of uh, water pollution. Uh, separate ponds and tanks are to be used for the cattle and animals. And then use of pesticides, insecticides and fertilizers should be done judiciously and, and uh, the biodegradable substitutes for pesticides should be uh, employed. And in towns where the sewage facilities are not available, uh, septic tanks should be made available in the houses and the rivers and lakes should not be used for bathing or washing as it will contaminate the water. And the domestic sewage and industrial waste should be treated before discharging them into the water bodies and um, creating awareness among the public is very much important. So far in this video, under environmental pollution, we have seen the definition, causes, effects and the control measures of water pollution. Thank you.